Welcome to another Teacher's Kirby sneak peek. I'm Teacher Kirby and I'm here on Tribble. And there have been, ay, that's annoying. There have been some changes to what they are letting us see on the K13 holding. So I'm going to transwarp there. Yes, you will have a direct transwarp to K13. As you can see here. So I am on Tribble taking a look, and here we go. Do, 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 do. Loading, loading, loading. Boy, this is slow loading. Okay. And there was actually something in the initial system you go to that I did forget to show you the first time. So I will be showing you that the second time, this time around. Okay. And they're quite visible this time around. So you see, right next to me up here, jellyfish creatures. These are the same jellyfish creatures from the very first episode of the next generation. Let's go take a bit of a closer look. So you'll notice these are the benign jellyfish creatures. You can actually go up, fly up to them and take a look. And you can see these are the nice jellyfish creatures that aren't going to harm anybody. Okay, so there they are. So if you're a fan of the first episode of Next Gen, you get your jellyfish creatures. Oh, aren't they so cute? Okay, now we're going to go down. And we're going to go dock with our station. Okay. So last time when we came in, the bridge officers and the duty officers were not visible. Now, they were when I was on here on, this is currently Friday, October 14th. When I was on Tribble doing some tests on Wednesday, October 12th, the, um, the bridge officers and duty officers were available. or were, You could see them. And let me tell you, they looked a little interesting. So I'm going to share them with you. Here we go. All right. So, they're off to the left here, and here we go. Alright, so, K-13 personnel officer, this is the guy you want to talk to. Yay, they're still here. Okay. So, the bridge officers, they have, of course, various ones. They have Andorians, Engineer, Science, and Tactical. They have Human, Engineer, Science, and Tactical. Tellarite, Engineer, Science, and Tactical. And Vulcan, Engineer, Science, and Tactical. So they have the big four races. Okay. Now they are quite proud of these bridge officers. If you look, 160,000 fleet credits and 34,000 dilithium. So these are quite pricey, okay? And these are just the normal bridge officers. So if you look, this is K-13 Survivor Engineering, increases skill-based stats. So there are a couple skills that it's going to increase. And of course it has some 23rd century abilities as well as normal abilities, okay? And, uh, but everything is pretty normal. The one that looks interesting is the survivor. 
uh, increase skill based stats. So, since this is a triple character, doesn't really matter which ones I get rid of. Okay, let's get rid of her. Okay, and let's get rid of him. Discharge here. Okay, and okay, this one actually was a 23rd century bridge officer. All right, this was the Andorian. So you can see K-13 survivor. She increases defensive maneuvering and weapon accuracy. I have not tested to see whether this is also true of some of the others. Let's see, I'm not using Lita. So let's get rid of her. Remember, this is a land trip. So it doesn't really matter here. I'm not using this one, so let's get rid of him. Okay, and let's see, I'm not using him, so let's get rid of him. There we go, and, and let's see, I'm not using Blair, let's get rid of Blair. Not using Blair, okay. Let's see who else I'm using. I'm using a Zero One, Zero Two, uh, Nyota Sulu, okay. Nyota Her, sorry, Dishal, and McCoy. So I can get rid of quite a few. So let's get rid of. Remember, this is only on Tribble. I would not get rid of these guys on Holodeck. Okay, remember, as I said, I would never get rid of these guys on holodeck because they are very difficult to replace. So I've simply looked through who am I not using, and that's who I'm getting rid of. So that I can get all of the things and we'll see if so we will see if the different um, the different Bridge officers have different things in hand. All right, Montgomery Scott. Janice 
this rand is the last one that I'm actually not using. Okay. So we will discharge her. This gives us maximum room in our bridge officer slot. There we go. All right, so we have all of these guys left, and these are the ones that I'm actually using in my stations, as you can see. And everything else is cleared except for her. Now she is one of the Andorian Tactical, and as you can see, her K-13 Survivor Tactics. She gives 10 to defense, Starship Defensive Maneuvering and 10 to Weapon Accuracy. Not much, but you know, every little bit helps. So, if I look at, let's go ahead and buy the Andorian Engineer, Andorian Science. We'll buy each one of these and we'll see if there's a difference between the uh, species. So I'm buying a human engineer, a human science, and a human tactical, and then of course I'm going to buy a Tellarite engineer, a Tellarite Science and a Tellarite Tactical and I may not have enough to do all of it but we'll do a Vulcan Engineer Vulcan Science and Vulcan Tactical Alright so we have bought all of them. Now let's see how many we can fit in. Join. And, oh, looks like they all went to stations. All right, so if you can't remember, if you can't find your bridge officers after you buy them, yep, there we go. Commission, there. Okay, commission, okay, alright, let's see, let's get them all joined, commission, yes, commission, commission for everybody, commission, 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 there we go, commission, oh brother, this is going to be just commission and click, click, click. As uh, a new friend of mine would say, press F. Okay. Well, you know we had enough room for everybody. Okay. So, here we have. Now we want to look at traits. Alright. So we have our Andorian here we go, our Andorian Engineer. And she gives plus 10 Starship Impulse Expertise and plus 10 Electroplasma System Flow. EPS is kind of important, so this would be nice to have. And then we have, let's see about our other Engineer. So this is a human, it gives exactly the same. So good news species does not seem to matter. It gives exactly the same for a Tellarite and for our Vulcan again exactly the same. Well that is good news. Alright so let's take a look at our science. K-13 Survivor Science gives plus 10 Starship Control Expertise this is good if you're building a gravity well, a boat that centers around gravity well or other control 
um, effects. The control effects would be things like um, tractor beams, tractor beam repulsors, um, yeah, things like that. So plus 10 starship control expertise and plus 10 starship drain expertise. This is of course nice if you're building a drain boat. Okay. And of course the same for all our other science officers. Boy, most of them are grouped up very nicely. Okay, so that is the same for all science officers. And then for the tactical, beep, 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 there's one. All right, for the tactical, defensive maneuvering, and what were you looking for? Yep, okay, we found it. And weapon accuracy. And of course, that's the same regardless of species. Okay, so this is the only trait that is unique to the K-13 survivors. And KDF will of course have the same. All right, so now let's take a look at some special bridge officers. All right, so we have two Android types. Okay, so we have what do we got? We got a, this has streamlined retrofit engineering. Ooh, interesting. And of course, reboot three, revive self when defeated, and the normal superior android trait for the ground. So androids are usually exceptional ground officers. And join. And let's see if I can get the other one as well. Oh, I cannot. Why not? I have plenty of dill. I have plenty. Okay. I'm going to assume you can only get one. Or, oh, wait, let me see. Could it be a provisions thing? No, nope. 82 items remaining. So it's not a provision. So it must be that you can have only one. All right, so let's see. This is it, no. Cadet human. All right, oh, I see what it is. Okay, let's see. Now we need to find our Android. No, nope. that's not it, that's not it. Nope. 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 Oh, yes, this is our Android. Okay. So as you can see, this is our Android. And she's got quite a few skills, but we're more worried about her traits. So let's see what this streamline retrofit engineering. So space for intense focus is a respective discipline has increased this bridge officer's aptitude with starship systems so it looks like she is a engineer so she gets plus 15 instead of 10 starship impulse expertise and eps interesting all right and of course she gets the reboot three she reboots revive self 75 percent hit points once every 10 minutes so if she dies, she will reboot, and she does have seduction. This used to be uh, unique to Orion females, but this is quite interesting. So she does have the confuse and placate. Very interesting, very nice. Okay, now because I only have room for one, so you can have both. I'm going to discharge. Alright, so I'm going to discharge her and I'm going to buy the other one and we'll compare. Alright, and the 
businesses and engineering officer as well. All right, there we go. Close that. Join. Okay, Dr. Brown. And where is you? Where is you? Is there he is? Okay, so this is a male. Looks almost exactly the same. Let's see our traits. We got streamlined, and looks like the traits are exactly the same. So in this case, it really comes down to looks. Do you want the male or do you want the female? Okay, everything else looks like it is exactly the same. Okay, awesome. And then we have, of course, the last thing that I wanted to show you here is the duty officers. Now the duty officers are actually quite interesting. So this one has, these have a chance to increase most starship skills for 15 seconds, most starship tools by two for 15 seconds, and it may stack up to 10 times, meaning you can get plus 20 when activating Ensign Bridge Officer abilities. Okay, and this is at the uncommon level. Okay, so this is basically um, inspirational leader for, but only procced off of Ensign Bridge Officer abilities. And then, of course, if we look down, now we have, down here, Lieutenant Bridge Officer Abilities. And then, of course, we have Lieutenant Commander Bridge Officer Abilities. And then down here we have Commander Bridge Officer Abilities. Okay. So obviously you're going to be able to use Ensign Bridge Officer abilities more often, but if you have, and I'll have to check how many of these you can stack, but obviously if you're able to stack three, you could get everything but Commander abilities in there and have a really good chance of stacking. Okay, and of course as we go up, the rare bridge, the rare ones, the blue ones, do the same. The difference is now you have a 20% chance when activating Ensign Bridge Officer abilities to gain plus two, and it for 15 seconds, and it stacks up to 10 times. So, obviously, again, okay, and this goes for Lieutenant. And again, so this is very, very similar to Inspirational Leader, which means now you can, for 15,000 fleet credits, you can basically get Inspirational Leader instead of having to buy it off the exchange for a large amount. And of course, for 30,000 credits, you get a 25% chance this is actually a better chance, I believe, than what you get with Inspirational Leader. I'll have to double check that. Okay. But I do believe it's a better chance. And then you get 25% chance plus two to most Starship consistent kills for 15 seconds, and it stacks up to 10 times. And of course, we have Ensign. Oh, for the blue ones, we only have. Oh, we do have. Okay just is ordered differently in the purple ones. So Lieutenant Commander, Lieutenant, Ensign, Lieutenant Commander, Lieutenant, Ensign, and of course Commander. Now I'll be honest, most of your Bridge Officer abilities are Ensign, Lieutenant, and Lieutenant Commander. The Commander level abilities, there aren't very many of them. You only get one per ship. So I wouldn't 
personally go for the commander. I'd probably go for the ensign or lieutenant. If I can stack two, I would stack these two. If I can stack three, I would stack ensign, lieutenant, and lieutenant commander. That's just me. Okay. And if I can only get one, I would probably go for either the ensign or lieutenant. And I'd probably do a little bit of looking at how I activate things and how often I activate things to see which one would do me better. Okay. But of course, this is just me. All right. And then, of course, we have the training manuals. They are here. Now, if you are an engineer or if you have engineer do do bridge officers, I highly recommend, and this is straight from our ground pounders, getting the photon mortar fabrication for the ensign slot for your engineers. Okay, this is actually quite a good offensive trait. The ground pounders that I know were chomping at the bit for this. Okay. And other than that, you're just looking at a difference in animation for these abilities. Okay. And you can see they're pretty much the same, or they are the same, as what you can get for your normal things. Their stats are exactly the same. Okay. And there. The only difference is the animation. Okay. So, there we go. This would be good for Ensign Engineering because this is a unique skill to these to these and that's as you can see it is quite inexpensive. And then of course last time we went over the equipment requisitions. This is where you go to get your ground weapons and your space weapons. You can get of course crit X damage 3 on the ground. Quite a nice set of mods. And you have the different styles of phasers. And then for space of course all the normal different things. The only difference is now they've added a twin phaser beam array with of course your choice of mods. I would suggest crit D damage times three. All right, so this has been a second look at the K-13 Starbase. Got a look at the bridge officers and duty officers. This has been Teacher Kirby and I will see you next time. Thank you.